a couple of years ago, uh, actually it was 2014, that the, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation reached out to Claflin University and some other institutions uh, because they were looking at the success we were having in educating first generation, uh, low income students, some uh, academically challenged, but yet our graduation and uh, uh, retention rates uh, were much higher than expected. The U.S. News and World Report ranked Claf listed Claflin in its list of best national liberal arts institutions. And among the historically black colleges and universities, I think there are maybe 100 plus such institutions, Claflin University moved up to uh, uh, notches this year, according to U.S. News and World Report, and we moved up to position number seven, that is seven among uh, the 100 plus institutions nationally. When you look at Claflin's ability to recruit students, Claflin is seen as the best value. When you look at our tuition, uh, our tuition you know, nationally, when you consider liberal arts institutions, is probably about 30% less uh, within the state of South Carolina and among, let's say, the independent colleges and universities, you'd probably find Claflin University's tuition, the cost tuition and fees, uh, room and board, probably in, in the bottom five, but in terms of the, uh, the, the, the rankings uh, and in terms of the student success indicators, you'll find Claflin probably in the top five uh, in terms of the exceptional educational experience. So students and parents, I think, see the, 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 the affordability of Claflin University, and they also see the exceptional educational experiences as well. We look to bring on new academic programs that bring new students that would not ordinarily come to Claflin University. A good example of that is our RN to BSN pro, student, uh, program that we implemented uh, just three years ago. Uh, we didn't have a nursing program at all at the institutions. So the, the students we've been able to recruit, and we probably have uh, 30 or more students uh, from this past year, and we have a waiting list for our nursing program uh, this coming year, these are students who would not have been in any program at Claflin University. So our uh, decision to diversify and also to bring on programs that would bring on new students, I think these things also contribute to our ability to keep our enrollment strong and growing.